quick little video on um, just sort of setting the game in console and seeing it in Logic and uh, pre-fader metering in Logic as well as well as low latency mode. So very quick. Um, so here you can see I've got um, I've got a mic plugged in and it's on box one. It's going from input one and if I open up console you can see here's console I've got I'm just using the built-in preamp uh, 29 DB um, and this is where I can set the gain level so as you can see I, if I increase this my volume will uh, the, the gain the signal from the, the microphone in, microphone increases so um, what you want to do is when you're uh, you know singing your vocal you want to sort of set this so that um, this level here is around about minus 12 at your peaks. Um, that's just sort of general um, general rule of thumb. Um, you don't want to be going in too hot because of when uh, you then sort of apply processing like EQ and compression and reverb and things like that. It's just gonna, um, you can end up clipping your signals. So you don't want to have anyway. You don't want to have clipped signals. So um, if I was singing la 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 la, that's too loud. So let's just bring that down. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, that's kind of about right. Um, also, by the way, here, this is the unison slot in um, Universal Audio Apollo, which is kind of the one of the big selling points and what you want to be using. So um, as a basic standard thing, you get the, the 610B, which is um, a classic preamp. Uh, and this will change the tone and the color of your vocal a little bit. So, um, quick sort of preview. You can go in into the uh, menu here and and sort of, sort of give you a, an idea, some uh, sort of vocal presets to start. So, I mean, uh, let's just say vocal presence, for example. Um, and um, you can see I'm I'm getting a reasonable uh, signal level coming in here. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, probably maybe dial back the output on that a little bit. This is called the uh, level, and you can get a bit more crunch if you want to. Um, I might even be tempted to boost the gain a little bit there. Hey, 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 and then bring the output uh, down a little bit. Hey, 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 hey. Sometimes you get a bit more color or you can uh, raise the noise floor, but um, I'm using a condenser here, so let's just go with that. Hey, 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 hey. I'll just dial that a bit more. Okay, so that's console. And then in Logic here, um, now I've sort of set up console. I've got pre-fader metering on at the moment. Um, that's this button up here. If I right click, customize, control bar and display, um, these two boxes here, I use them a lot all the time, pre-fader metering and low latency mode. Basically what the pre-fader metering is showing you is the, the, get, the strength of the signal coming into Logic before any processing. So if you've then got sort of like a compressor on there and all that sort of thing, that's going to add to the metering here that you're going to see. So this is before any effects. So it's really good for when you're trying to set your levels, having it on pre-fader metering. One, two, hey, hey. And then it'll also it'll show you your absolute peak in this little window here. Hey, 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 hey. So you can see now my loudest peak there was eight, my, minus 8.8. .8. Um, a clap, that's uh, blown it. Um, and here's low latency mode, which may basically means when you're recording and you, especially when you've got multiple tracks, it will um, turn off any unnecessary processing, which will give you a lower latency, which basically means there's less delay between the sound you're making and that that you're hearing. Particularly useful when you have multiple tracks um, going at the same time. So, hope that helps. Um, that's it.